Hey YouTube, today I decided I would do a review on something most people have never actually seen or heard of. Now first off, I'm going to apologize for the low quality of this video. It's late at night, running off some crappy fluorescent lighting, so just bear with me here. Now, what I've got here is a pair of unissued, military-issue, extreme cold weather boots. Otherwise known as Mickey boots. Now... What's special about these boots is that they're rated to stay, keep your feet warm in 40 below zero temperatures. Now, these things are fucking huge. Excuse my language, but when I saw the picture of these things on the military surplus website, I'll post a link to it in the description, they looked like, you know, normal sized boots. But uh, when I got them, I literally said to myself, holy shit, these are huge. Now, I wish I had a good comparison to show you, but just take my word, this is a size 12. If you were to compare this to a normal size boot, it would probably be around a size 14. Yeah. But there's a reason why they're so fucking huge. You see, all this, completely rubber, 100% waterproof. I've worn these a few times, and they are incredibly warm. In fact, let me give you an example. Put these on, 30 seconds later, my feet are sweating. Of course, this is in normal room temperature, around 70 degrees. I would imagine in the winter, it wouldn't be so fucking warm. But, here's the problem. The Mickey boots didn't really last too long in the military, and here's why. They're too good, simply put. Let me go more into detail, though. They keep your feet so warm that you start to sweat in the boot. And this became a problem because the buildup of sweat, if you keep these on for too long, may cause trench foot or some other foot disease, athlete's foot, just other foot problems. Now, keep in mind that these problems occurred because you probably, the military wasn't using these in the extreme cold. Probably they were using them in, let's say, like negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, of course. And these are designed for ridiculously cold. I'm talking like negative 50 to 40 degrees. That's what these are designed for. Now, I got them thinking, oh, hey, they'll keep my feet warm. I had no fucking clue they would be this warm. I mean, they're really good boots, don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah, they're, they're a little bit on the heavy side. The main reason why I got them is because they're pretty white, and I'm going for an entire white-out look this winter for my winter airsoft game. Um, overall, they're really good boots. It's just their pros are also their cons. Sadly, if that's possible. They're warm, but they're too warm, apparently. Whew. I mean, look at the size of these things. I got them for like... I don't know, $80, $80 around there. Um, they were a little dirty because they've been sitting in a military surplus shop for probably a number of years. And the sizes run a little big because this is a size 12. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. Probably not, but just take my word. It's a size 12 wide, which is the normal boot size I wear. I actually have a pair of SWAT military boots and size 12 wide was the perfect size. These things are ridiculously huge. I mean, there's a lot of toe room. But, um... I have yet to actually use them in combat or anything. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think I've covered just about everything. Apparently, there's a little thing right here. Keep closed unless airborne.
what it says right here. A little thingamajig. Uh, I have no idea what the hell it's for. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys do. Like you go inside the boot. Another weird thing that I don't like about these boots is that the laces aren't exactly long enough to uh, fit through all of the loops and still have enough to tie. But um, I would suggest these, if you're going to some place that's so ridiculously cold that you may literally freeze your balls off, get these. Yeah, they're big, they're heavy, but on the bright side, they're waterproof. And if you're not in the extreme cold, well, your feet might melt from under you. So, ought to be something interesting. But hey, thanks for watching. Uh, this is more one of my more pointless reviews. But hey, when you're as bored as I am, the sky's the limit. See you later, YouTube.